Cam Book is with us here in the John and Dola show as we talk West Granton and Vader wrestling. Um, you stepped up and you went heavyweight this year. You look fantastic. Seeing you at districts, you got the big V back. I mean, <laughs> you look like you're you're you know very athletic and ready to go. Um, how has this season gone for you? It's been going well so far. Obviously, I didn't have as many matches that I would have liked to wrestle in this year because of COVID and everything that's going on. Everything's been very inconclusive and no one knows what's going on. So even the fact that we had a season, especially a postseason, is something to look forward to, especially this weekend. I'm just excited for, I've been excited my entire season, but especially now since I've been wanting to go to Hershey since freshman year, even though there was another obstacle super region to go through this year, I'm kind of happy we had it, just more matches to get under my belt. And getting to that 100th win had to feel pretty good. You were kind of sitting there like, hey, I need this amount of matches to get there, but kind of works out. And that's a, just a great accomplishment. When you're 37 or 53, I did 100 wins. That's a great thing. Yeah, it was nice. I was trying not to focus on it too much because my main focus in the beginning of the Super Regions was just to make it out. Because if I kept thinking about my 100th win, I didn't want to get in my head too much. But after the match, I kind of realized that it happened. I kind of forgot about it when I was going in. I was just trying to focus on wrestling, just wrestle. And then after my dad was like congratulating me and everyone was saying good job. So it just felt pretty nice. Being more fit than most heavyweights, I would think most of the guys you run into, you've been the more fit wrestler. Um, talk a little bit about using that to your advantage and just trying to use your, you know, use your quickness and get around some of these big guys. Certainly it's been, there's advantages and disadvantages to being small. One, a good thing about it is obviously you have a lot more speed and stamina, but the bad thing about it is if a heavy guy you're wrestling knows how to use his weight and you get put in a wrong position, the match can be over within a couple seconds, which happened to me in my finals match at regionals last week. Yeah, last weekend or two weekends ago. So there's ups and downs. You just have to realize where your strengths and weaknesses are and you just have to kind of play around them. Well, we know Austin's probably got to watch his weight. You know, he's he's at the lower weight. That's not an easy thing for you. You probably can eat anything you want, but I'm sure you're yeah. disciplined to say, hey, you know, I got to kind of follow my regimen of what I've done, done to get you here. I'm um, talking a little bit about, you know, making some of those adjustments, making sure, because you do look really fit, you put on a little bit of weight, but you know, you're still in a good spot. Yeah, I just have to make sure to keep practicing hard at least once, like twice a day earlier in the week. And then later on, when it's getting closer to tournament time, I kind of cut it down to lighter days just to give my body a chance to rest and recover and time to be ready to wrestle. Well, let's talk a little bit about your your fitness what are things that you did in the off season or during the season to try to make sure that you know you're not going to be gassed towards the end of the match i'd make a schedule or just set aside certain days to where i'd i'd go to school practice every single day and then i'd set and then another day to go to the gym and then just keep alternating gym and extra wrestling and i'd probably on my off days i was lifting anyway so i never really had off days from wrestling or from working out because the days I wasn't wrestling, I was lifting anyway. So I didn't really give myself much of a break because I realized that I'll have all the time in the world to take breaks after the season's over. So might as well be in as best shape as I can be. You got three coaches and a dad. So Coach Butka, Coach Fox, Coach Morgan, and then your dad's involved. He's almost like two people. But what's this whole experience been like in listening to some of those guys? It's great. I mean, Coach Fox has always been around. He's a great coach. He knows what he's doing. I trust him with anything he's going to say to me. And my dad's always kind of been there too, but it's different this year since he's like an actual coach now. I mean, he's in the room a lot more than he was. And Coach Morgan's new. I, he's always been around. I've seen him. He's been at Scranton High. He's been at Lackawanna College. He's been real good. He's been pushing us pretty hard in the room. All in all, I think we have the best coaching staff in a, that I've ever experience and I think that other teams would agree to even if they really didn't want to I feel like we have a really good thing going on in our room yeah definitely a lot of West Granton pride a lot of experience there that's for sure and and just making sure that you guys do your best next level for you already decided Wilkes University they're going to get a stud uh in in you so they're probably uh you know smiling 
Uh, but at the same time, uh, the fit seemed to be right for you, correct? Yeah, I liked everything about the school. I visited multiple schools. I, a couple have been reaching out to me, but Wilkes just fit my personality best. It's not, it's like 30, 40 minutes away from home. I didn't want to go too far. And they had a nice wrestling program and a nice campus. And they're good in the science department, which is what I plan on majoring in, so. Yeah, Coach Lodge Schlager is a, a great guy. Let's talk a little bit about that academic success. Number one in your class, there's probably some pressure with that. Especially this week, you're trying to laser focus on Hershey, but you're still, I'm sure, grinding and making sure that those academics, uh, you know, they're not going to take care of themselves. You got to work for it. Yeah, I mean, school has always been real important to me. I've always dedicated as much time as I've been needing for schoolwork. Schoolwork goes above anything else, even wrestling for me right now. But I've managed, uh, especially with everything in COVID now. I've managed to do pretty well, like the same as I've been doing with school. I try my hardest in everything I do. I don't like being bad at things. So I just figured why not try and do as best as I could. Let's talk about coming back from regionals to super regionals and facing, you know, that same guy who's pretty darn talented and, and you able to come out on top. Yeah, the first time I wrestled him, uh, I really didn't know much about him. I only figured out that he was actually like really good after I wrestled him. Like, cause I don't really like to read into my guys before. Cause I just, I tend to overthink a lot and it'll just make me think before I wrestle. And then, yeah, I stepped on the mat and he knew how to use his weight more than other guys I had wrestled in the heavyweight division, like prior to wrestling him. So it, it kind of shocked me a little bit at how much like experience and talent he had just based on looks alone. And it was a good match. I just ended up getting caught. And then all the week pre, uh, prior to Super Regionals, I had been training on ways to counteract uh, being a light guy and wrestling kids that know how to use their weight, like getting a bunch of angles and just not getting stuck under. And it seemed to work out. And of course, uh, now it's all on the line at Hershey, but the pressure's off, as we had mentioned with your teammate, Austin. Um, you know, are you getting more, hey, you can do this? Or are you getting more, hey, just go have fun? And again, as you said, you don't want to think it. Where are you at with the whole decision process when you get down to Hershey? I'd say it's a mixture of the two. I'm certainly not even close to as nervous as I was in the previous weeks, just because this is it. I, it's my last week I'm ever going to wrestle in high school, so I might as well have fun as well as take it seriously. I'm not going to be upset if I lose. I mean, obviously I will to some extent, but I'm gonna try my hardest regardless and I can't get down on myself now because I've already come to this far. So I'm proud of myself no matter what happens. Even if I do end up placing eighth, it's a lot better than I ever thought I was gonna do, so. All right, well, Cam Brooka, uh, congratulations on a fantastic year. We're rooting for you in Austin this weekend and the coaching staff, West Scranton pride in effect all week. So uh, go get them, all right? Thank you.